Sir Keir Starmer found himself defending a £20,000 donation he used for his family's accommodation to ensure his son could study for his GCSEs in peace amid the distractions of a general election. The Prime Minister clarified that the contribution from Labour peer Lord Waheed Ali was essential for maintaining a tranquil environment away from the media frenzy typically associated with his political role. The idea was to provide a quiet space for my son during his exams, away from the journalists usually camped outside our door, Sir Keir explained. He stressed that his priority was his son's academic success during this critical period. This declaration comes in the wake of criticisms directed at Sir Keir for accepting various gifts, including Arsenal tickets and donations covering expenses for clothing and eyewear. He articulated to the BBC his commitment to ensuring his 16-year-old son's uninterrupted preparation for school exams. Despite the ongoing scrutiny over such gifts, Sir Keir expressed no regrets or intentions to apologise, as he believes his actions were justified. I'm not going to apologise for making a decision that was right for my family, he remarked during an interview with LBC. Further addressing the issue while in the US for the UN General Assembly, Sir Keir reflected on the personal aspects often overlooked in political controversies. It's about looking behind the numbers and understanding the human story, he noted. Amidst this controversy, Sir Keir announced a change in policy regarding the acceptance of certain types of donations, specifying that ministers would no longer accept donations for clothing. However, he left open the possibility of accepting other forms of gifts, such as event tickets, highlighted by his recent acceptance of Taylor Swift concert tickets valued at £4,000 from the Premier League. Recent polling by Ipsos revealed that a significant majority of the British public finds it inappropriate for the Prime Minister to accept gifts from businesses, organisations, or individuals, highlighting widespread scepticism about the ethics of such practices. These controversies and the broader context of governmental challenges, such as debates over winter fuel allowance cuts, cast a shadow over the party's atmosphere following a successful election, indicating a more subdued mood than might have been anticipated.